Hey everybody, what's up? Uh, so I figured I would do a series on Force Arena, Star Wars Force Arena, which is this mobile game right here that you see. I've never done recording a mobile game before, so bear with me a little bit. Um, but, you know, the player base isn't as high as, as they estimated, and I think it's a really fun game. I love this game. It's probably my favorite mobile game, and I don't play that many mobile games. I really only play this and uh, Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes. Um, and the funny thing is not just because they're Star Wars, I just don't know of any other good mobile games. Uh, but anyway, I think Force Arena is really freaking fun. So I figured I would do a video series like maybe once per week where I do like a few matches and kind of break things down for people who haven't played it. And then, you know, maybe tips and tricks for people who have, because as you can see, like right here, can I click on it? Yeah. All right. Um, I'm tier five out of seven. And the only reason I'm not higher than what I'm at right now is just because uh, what I do is I win battles to get these little packs right here which give you more cards and I just do that once per day to fill up my thing and I don't really keep playing to get higher tiers uh, so I mean I'd probably be a lot higher if I actually played to rank up and everything like that um, so it's definitely like people who only can play casually or where mobile games take a lot of your time you know, definitely this one you can play very casually like I do. Uh, but like I said, I think it's fun and I'm hoping maybe some of you guys get interested after watching the series, watching a couple matches and stuff like that. Um, but I consider myself pretty pretty good of a player, so hopefully you guys that do play this can get some maybe tips and tricks out of this out of this series. Uh, basically, it's an arena-based game, so you like have turrets. The Imperial side has turrets, and then the Rebel side has turrets, and then there's a the shield generator, which if you capture that, or, or destroy it, I should say, you win. Uh, you have a hero on the field, and you play these like cards, basically. So like these are my cards down at the bottom right, and how it works is you just summon it, it requires energy, which is the bar above the cards, and... You do what you can to basically, so that when time runs out, you should have, oh my god, I should have manually put that in, because, the stupid. Um, whoever has the most turrets destroyed at the end of the match wins the match, so. Uh, yeah, so you basically control your hero, as you see, and use your cards. You build your deck. There's more than just these cards for Imperials and Rebels. Like, they don't just have these. There's other uh, cards as well. Like, I have Dr. Afra for Vader. You have to unlock her. She's dope. And there's Ben Kenobi who fucking does a mind control. I hate him. He's like one of the most annoying characters. <laughs> it's one of the most annoying assist characters in here because that just completely... He can turn a battle around like super fast. Um, but yeah, so I'll after this match, I'll go back in the menu and show you guys. But that's basically the the... That's the basics of this is, you know, destroy the turrets who, at the end of the time limit, whoever has the most wins. Uh, I'll get into some of the more advanced mechanics of the game as they kind of happen. Um, but right now, we're kind of just back and forth. Right now, he he's kind of beating me at this point in time, but that can change at any moment. <laughs> Once I get a good killing on him, this guy's good. He's staying away from me. So my strategy with Vader, because of Vader's high health, uh, I usually walk my units into the turret, uh, but I usually try to take out the enemy leader and use that time to basically summon my strong unit, usually this walker. Uh, I usually try to do that, and that's how, like, when I kill them, as you see, there's a respawn. And the respawn gets longer every time you die, so I usually try to kill them with Vader, and then, then I'll move my unit in, uh, I'll move my strong unit in after I, after I kill the enemy leader. But, as you can see, that didn't happen this time see like this hopefully my nope they didn't get to him in time i was hoping my troopers would take care of luke real quick but he got away um like i said i think it's an awesome game and also for any of you that join i already have a guild set up uh for any of you that want to join my guild uh it's called resina's empire oh fuck ben kenobi's about to wreck oh nice he only got that fuck uh it's called Resina's Empire, and it, uh, ooh, shit. A couple of you are already in there, um, but, fuck, why'd I do that? Uh, a couple of you are already in there, and 
um yeah i was just trying to see if you a couple more of you wanted to get in on there people who like maybe like this game plan are like oh cool i think i might download and try this out if you end up liking it you know join join my guild resonance empire and have some fun uh also if you need like you know the exact bam one because it went into overtime and so when it goes into overtime like if you're tied the whole time if it goes in overtime obviously next turret wins so um i have a video a few weeks ago when this game came out and i where i told you guys my guild so resonas empire if you need more clarification on that for some reason uh it's in the description as far as the spelling goes but uh so Woo. all right so let's see they just had a big update today and these daily missions are, are part of that big update uh so let me go over some stuff with some of you who don't know uh, what it is basically these packs help you level up your cards but the one thing i do like about this game is like a lot of mobile games are basically going to be pay to win type thing where uh where you know obviously if you pay real money you're going to win because of the fact that you're so upgraded well in this game it's not that hard a lot of my stuff i've never paid any real money for this so far uh you'll notice a lot of my stuff is pretty decent decently leveled but the thing I like about this game is that more, the levels, like the stat boosts that you get from leveling up your people, see, if, if you look right here, uh, the stat boosts aren't really that big of a of a jump, and they're not that hard to, to level up your characters, even by, you know, not paying real money. It's not that hard to level up your characters. Uh, you just get packs anyway. It's not even like, it, it's not even like you can buy certain characters. You just get random packs, so... Um, you know, it's definitely, I don't feel like this game is pay to win, which is definitely strange for a lot of mobile games. I definitely feel like this game is on the side of, it's more skill based. So those of you that don't like want to pay real money, I never pay a dime for any mobile game. Uh, Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes is more pay to win than this is. I'll say that. So if you play Galaxy of Heroes, uh, this, this is as far as you can probably get from being pay to win. Yes, there's, uh, paid options like you just saw you can buy little packs but you get so many packs like i was saying you can fill up that whole bar of packs and open them every day you get free packs every few hours and there's just no reason not to be able to upgrade it uh without paying money so uh yeah all of you who are like you know don't want to download it for that reason don't don't be afraid of that it's not it's really not pay to win at all Oh, see, this guy's a lot easier. Look at that. Just wrecked, and then boom. So usually what I do with Vader, because he has such a high health, I'll stay in the turret and take the turret damage for my stronger units so they can have time to destroy. And then, yeah, like, I'm tanking this guy who throws a grenade. He could wipe out all my units, but instead I'll I'll tank him with Vader. Even though I died, it's still worth it because I got rid of the most threatening units, and I know that I'm going to be back in time to recover. He has Chirrut Emway. Um, so, yeah. Those are just some of my Vader tips for you. Vader knowledge, dropping that Vader knowledge on you. Don't get too, don't get too enthralled. So like each character, like Dr. Afra is Vader's assistant character. Each character has one unique assistant, basically that, uh, obviously going to be from their from their lore. So like Vader for Afra, Chirrut for Baze. Uh, sometimes they give them special power ups. Like with Baze, he gets increased uh, attack speed, and with uh, Vader, Afra doesn't give him any buffs really but uh she's just a really good character i like her because she stuns she throws a stun grenade so it's really helpful to stun the enemy hero with her or a group of enemies like this boom stun and then you can just wipe them out vader himself does a like aoe slash type thing which is pretty fucking cool and look um i'm just dominating this guy <laughs> i'm just don oh my god man sorry uh nobody knows who you are so luckily you your your failure won't be live on i mean your failure will always be on the internet but it's okay bro <laughs> um so yeah like i said if you guys uh that's this is most of it i mean like you know the different units and stuff kind of differ i just beat him before time ran out which is rare like he just got wrecked and i'm gonna do the annoying little vader face no i'm not it won't let me open it stupid google play things in the way um but anyway yeah so uh, you know, if you guys liked what you see, 
on Force Arena, please, please download it. Join our guild. Uh, we definitely need more people in the in this guild. Uh, definitely need more people playing the game as a whole. But uh, definitely for the guild too, you know. And you can talk to me on there. Play a few rounds with me. I'm pretty active on the guild. I would say, uh, you know, I do do it casually, but. I try to get on for the people that are in the guild. I do try, <laughs> I do try to get on and do some uh, group matches. So look, here's the I gotta move the Google Play thing. So here's the guild real quick. Let me just go on there and uh, so right now there's only yeah like I said there's only a few of you that play this game, but I know there's not a lot of people that play the game in general. Uh, but what you can do is, and when you're in a guild, you can basically play matches against each other that aren't ranked. They're not. They're not like counted against you type thing. So like I'll play with you with you guys uh, in the guild. Consider that and put you on the the weekly streams of this too, if you want. I'll try to schedule some of you guys in to do to be featured on here, and I'll play you guys. Um, but also you can team up and do ranked matches with someone in your guild too. So that's pretty cool. Uh, I think they're gonna add more guild stuff later on, but right now that's that's pretty much the extent is to be able to just team up with your guild. Also, I'll do a two v two match so you guys can see that as well. I don't know how long it'll take to search. Uh, Empire is definitely the faction of choice right now for people, so it usually takes a little bit longer to find an Empire match than it does when you pick Rebels. If I pick Rebels, it'll it, it'll come up instantly because they're slightly uh, underpicked for some reason. I don't understand why, but I love Darth Vader, and Darth Vader is definitely by far my best character, so <laughs> I haven't really touched the damn Rebel levels, level ups, but for the sake of doing this video, I think I will take Baze Malbus, and let me make sure my cards are in order. Yeah, I think there's in order as I'm going to get anyway. I have no freaking clue. I I think I'll get rid of the Bantha. He's I don't like the Bantha. He I feel like he's trash. <laughs> um, but what to replace him with? I have no clue. See, so yes, I don't like the Rebels. I'm not used to them. Freaking, you know what? I'll just keep the Bantha. Hopefully, my partner like is really good. Actually, just for you guys, because I know I have a lot of you that like Star Wars Rebels. Uh, I think with you, guys, I'll go with Ezra Bridger for you. Just for you guys, Ezra and Kanan are on here, yes, and so are Sabine and Fen Rao. They are both on here. I have Fen Rao, not Sabine, though. Uh, oh, you can see them all right here. You know, there's uh, Bodhi Rook is on here, and you can see the assist characters over there. I actually have most of the Rebel characters unlocked already, surprisingly. So watch, it should pop. Yep, see, I told you. I'm fucking, dude, Rebels, I don't know what it is with Rebels, but they always suck. Look at that, the Inquisitor Invader. Yeah. So don't be surprised if I get wrecked, and you're welcome because I'm lowering my ranking for you guys. <laughs> I'm awful with Ezra Bridger. Just a fair word of warning. I am completely awful with him. So don't 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 view this as a tips and tricks moment because this is about to be like I'm gonna get wrecked moment. The rebels I feel like outweigh in numbers. Definitely numbers. See, Ezra, I do like Ezra does this. He backs, he shoots. He does like a few hits of his lightsaber and then he shoots, which I think is pretty cool. And my teammate just left freaking the Inquisitor to sit there and destroy our turret over there. Thanks, bro. You're awesome. That was cool. And now the walker is about to wreck us too. That That's awesome. Yep. I was hoping my teammate would be really, really good. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. <laughs> and Vader, come here, come here, Vader. Oh, he stunned me. Yep, yep. There he goes. Got him. Oh my God. Can you handle that? Nope. Uh, fuck. Oh, he got him. But yeah, that needs to stop. Oh my God, I'm gonna die. <laughs> They've destroyed all of our turrets except this one on the right, and we are getting our asses handed to us. Yeah, that that's game. Look how quick that went. I'm I told you I'm bad with Ezra, but my teammate was also bad, so uh <laughs> that was just a situation where because we both sucked, we got wrecked. Yeah, we, we that was awful. Alright. <laughs> but now you guys have kind of a clear understanding of what what the game offers for the most part. So 
Fuck yeah, dude. This is awesome. And they all do cool little... Look at this. Like, like look at that. Ah, they all do cool little animations. Look at Kanan. Look at that. Force. Bam. Look at that. Force. Look at that. I'll do Vader's. Look at that choke. Oh, look at that. Fucking beautiful. Afra's boring. The people with guns are so boring. Boring. <laughs> what is it? Uh, Lando's laugh is so inaccurate. Um, but yeah, so like I said, if you guys liked it, download it, feel free, please join our guild, Resina's Empire. Um, if you need spelling on that, I'll, I'll put it in the description of this video so you don't have to go back and look at a, a old video or anything like that. So, um, but I'll try to do this like once a week. If you guys are interested in this anyway, I'll try to do this once a week and feature, uh, one or two of you per week that are, that do join the guild. I'll feature one or two of you, uh, per week, uh, on each of these videos. Um, like one or two of you at a time, I'll feature you on the video and whatever, link your name in the chat description, whatever. Uh, other than that, yeah. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you enjoy the game. Maybe download it. Maybe join us. Um, and have a good day.